Hello, and welcome to Featured Snippet Plus Theater, where we will show you how to analyze featured snippets. And people also ask, and churches related to, and all sorts of other cool stuff with this tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump right in and show you how this tool works. So I'm going to get a little small here. Here I am, in the corner. Okay, we're in the main dashboard, and I have three runs on here. And let me click on the first one here for the Featured Snippet Run. Okay, so up on the top we've got a little summary. There were eight URLs checked with this run. Uh, 274 phrases were run through. Uh, 85 of those had featured snippets. Uh, 486 people also asked questions. We were able to grab in 968 searches related to. And then there's some other summaries over here. The other summaries are more fun after you've optimized and rerun the tool. But let's jump right down here. So. Let's look at the pay-per-click page. This is actually a page that uh, Ninjas doesn't offer the pay-per-click service. I would recommend Game Clear, but let's just take a peek at our page. So, there were 70 phrases checked. You're probably wondering, where do you get those 70 phrases from? Well, I've got the answer, and I'll tell you. So, here's how we do it. We go to SEMrush using their API, and we say, give us 140 of the best-ranked uh, highest ranked phrases for any particular page. So you say, give us 140 of the, of the, give us all the number ones, the number twos, the number threes, give us the highest ranking stuff. Most 140. And then what we do is we say, all right, now out of the 140 phrases we grabbed, let's take the 70 most valuable phrases. And we're going to use those to do our checks. And that got rid of a bunch of the uh, junky phrases that were in there. So, here we have our pay-per-click page. There were 70 phrases checked for this page. That is our max. And here's the summary of this. So these are the phrases that we checked. Uh, here's the search volume for the phrases. We have the ninja value for each phrase. So kind of the higher the value, um, the more it's worth, of course. <laughs> but if you're like, what does that number exactly mean? Just know that, you know, this phrase here is worth roughly four times as much as this phrase here in theory. All right, we also show, here's how you rank for those phrases in Google. Uh, which phrases have featured snippets? So, pay-per-click services does show a featured snippets at the time of this tool run. We also show if it has the people also ask questions, usually right below the featured snippets. And there's like almost all these have people also ask questions. And then we look to see if any of those phrases showed video on the first page of Google search results. So for example, pay-per-click marketing, there's a video on the first page of Google search results. So here's all the phrases checked for this particular page. And you also can check off boxes here. You might be like, hey, I want to optimize for this phrase, and I want to optimize for this phrase, and this phrase. You can kind of go through and click off phrases that you want to target. But let me look over at the featured snippet tool. So out of the 70 phrases run, checked, 30 of those had featured snippets. And here are all the phrases that are showing the featured snippet. Here's the type of snippet that they're showing. Uh, here's the search volume, the ninja value. Here's how the competitor ranks. Now the competitor is the person that has the featured snippet. So for example, PPC management, the person that has the, the featured snippet is also uh, ranking number one or, or, or organically and we're ranked 25. So honestly, there's there's really no way I'm going to be able to capture that feature snippet um, being at rank number 25, but you can kind of see on here. Oh, but hey, look, it's a low-hanging fruit. What is a low-hanging fruit, you may ask? Good question. A low-hanging fruit is where you rank higher than the person that has the feature snippet. So in this case, hey, I'm number one for that phrase within the organic results, but the person that has the feature snippet's number four. <coughs> Excuse me. I should own that feature snippet, not the guy at number four. So we call that the low hanging fruit. That in theory might be easier when you're ranking higher than the person that has the featured snippet organically. Alright, so let's move over to the next tab. Oh, and you can also check off boxes here that you want to optimize for. So you're like, yeah, yeah, I want to optimize for this, I want to optimize for that. And you're going to check off phrases here that you think are relevant and be like, all right, these are ones that I want to target. Okay, now let's go to the next tab, the people also ask. So here's the way that worked. We searched those 70 phrases in Google, and for that, we looked at 
um, the people also asked questions. So when we ran those 70 phrases, we got 124 distinct people also ask questions. And here are the questions that we found, and how often they showed up out of those 70 phrases that we searched. So you might look at this and be like, yeah, I want to target that, I want to target that. Target that. You can kind of look at some of these and be like, all right, which ones do I want to target on here? And you can kind of go through the list and and click off phrases that are relevant for you. And so that's what the people also ask questions are. Now the searches related to. Let's take a peek at those. So there was 205 of the searches related to. So when we ran those 70 phrases through Google, we grabbed all the stuff on the bottom of the search results, the searches related to, and we looked at all those phrases and how many times they showed up. So, wow, this phrase here showed up 31 out of 70 times, um, and we can look at these and go, like, alright, you know, which, which one of these do I want to target, and you can start checking off phrases that are relevant for you here. Okay, so... The video stuff is uh, fairly brief. This shows you what are the phrases that showed videos on the first page of Google search results, uh, and a little bit of data about those videos as well. Um, the competitor stuff I'm not going to go through now, the image analysis I'm not going to go through now, but let's jump over the page optimizer, because now I've gone through these different areas and I've checked off some boxes. So all the green phrases on here are the, are the uh, featured snippet phrases that I said that I wanted to target, and the uh, blue are the people also ask, and this funny yellow color are phrases that were the searches related to, and I think this particular phrase wasn't the people also ask, or featured snippet, or related to, this was um, uh, another phrase of the 70 that we checked that I clicked off on the first screen. Alright, so here's the phrases that I said that I'm targeting. And mind you, I didn't spend too much time on this. I probably would have spent more time and checked off more boxes. But um, for the sake of the video, we're not going to spend as much time. So there's a couple ways that you can fill in this text editor. Uh, the first way is you can click on this and say, alright, let's fill in the data from the web page. It may not work for you. You may go to fill it in and it may look like, blah, what is this? In that case, just delete it. Okay, there's a couple of other ways. You can just go to the web page that you're working on. In this case, I think it's the pay-per-click page. So another option is I can go to that page, grab all the text that's in the middle, and just highlight it, copy it, go to that box, paste it in is another way. If you want to work with HTML, you can kind of uh, find where the HTML starts and stops for what you want to copy. I'll click on the HTML and paste in the HTML. All right, so now I pasted in phrases here. Let me move my head around here. All right, so I've I have my content now. Oh, I've got two of me. I think that one's not supposed to be there. There we go. Here I am. Okay, so now what we have is I pasted in the content of the page over here on the left. And now on the right, I can start looking at some data. Um, let me just start with the snippet phrases. So these are the phrases that I said that I wanted to target for featured snippets. These are ones that I checked off. And then here's what these numbers tell you. So on that page, PPC is on the page 12 times. Management is on the page 12 times as well. Those two words together PPC management is on the page six times. So like, for example, PPC marketing, PPC is on the page 12 times, marketing is on there 13 times, but never are they together on the page. There could be pay-per-click here, marketing over here, but they're not together, okay? So that's what these numbers are and what those numbers are. Now, the heading thing is interesting because what we check is we found that often when targeting feature snippets or people also ask, that normally you want to like have that question or that phrase in an H tag. H1, H2, H3, 4, 5, 6, some kind of H tag. And then below it often you have a short descriptive or a short paragraph that answers the question. Uh, sometimes you may want to do a list as well, depending on what the others are showing. But what this does is it looks to see our for example, PPC management, when we look for, if it's in a heading, we look for 
each heading that's on the page, we pull them out and we say, is there any heading that has PPC and management somewhere in the heading? It can be in different orders, it doesn't have to be next to each other, but it has to be in the same heading. And so we can see that PPC management is inside of a heading. And again, it doesn't have to be in the same order. And we can see that PPC marketing is in a heading. And then pay-per-click marketing is not in a heading. And so I think, you know, knowing my ranks on these, I'd really want to focus on things like this. I probably should have an H tag on our page that says something like, are you looking for pay-per-click services? If you are, we offer a wide range of pay-per-click service, blah, 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 a little paragraph, you know, we'll put that into a heading tag if I was targeting it. All right, you also can look at People also ask questions. Let me just remove the snippets. So here are the questions that I said that I wanted to target for people also ask. Here are the phrases. And again, we look to see if all those words appear inside of a, a single heading tag. And none of these do, but this one does. Okay, and then we can also look at uh, non-featured snippet ranking phrases. Oh, and here's a cool thing. So check this out. So, if I want to do, let's see, uh, let's say if I wanted to target pay-per-click services, pay-per-click management, now watch this, let me just add the word services to this, and look, now I've got a checkbox, like magic, give me a checkbox because this is a heading tag, um, and no, you can also edit the text, if you want to you want to be like, hey, you know, I'm gonna, I want to make this a heading tag. Let me, I don't know, make it an H3. And let's look at a phrase that I want to target. Pay-per-click campaign. Internet marketing capacities. And, oops. See how I added that in here and I made it a heading tag? So by doing that, I got my my uh, my one here because I have those words together now. And I got my checkbox over here. In fact, I think by doing that, I might have added a couple of other little checkboxes here. So you can kind of edit the page if you would like this way and kind of watch the numbers change on the right hand side like magic. You'd be like, ooh, look, as I add it over here, it changes it over here. Isn't that really cool? All right, now, you can click on Save Changes if you're working away here, but that button, uh, it's really just there for the fun. It's Your work is being saved all the time. Like, every few seconds we're saving your work, so you actually don't have to press on that. But here's a cool thing. So all right, you've edited the page. You now have it optimized. you got it optimized for feature snippets, and people also ask in related phrases, and you're like, all right, I've done, done editing my page. Okay, now what? Okay, there's a couple ways. You can... You can go over here to your optimized content, and this will show pages that you've worked on. So it's like, hey, I just worked on this pay-per-click page. Here is that new content. And you're like, hey, cool. You know, this is something you can you know, copy and paste this in, um, give it to your uh, publisher, and any page that you edit will fall over here under your optimized content. You also can uh, grab the HTML of the page, all sorts of cool experts on exports on here. Now, another really cool thing that you can do with this tool, let me move my head around here a little bit, is I we allow you to rerun the tool. So when you rerun it, what I would do is do your edits first, publish your edits, give it at least a month for Google to do some edits, then. When you're like, all right, let's see if my work actually had an effect, you can click on rerun. And here, all the phrases will rerun. It'll check which ones that you have. It'll look for new feature snippets, lost feature snippets. It'll give you all sorts of cool summary stuff. Um, I don't think I haven't rerun this really, so you can't see histories of it. But, um, but once you rerun it, you can see all the histories and the values of all those phrases. And it's really, really cool. So. That is how to use the feature snippet tool. 
And also, if you're ever like, hey, how do I really optimize this stuff? You know, just go to our resource link over here. There's some really cool stuff over on our resource page. Um, as well as we have all sorts of training material and cool stuff and we're added in new things over here. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you optimize the heck out of feature snippets and you get all sorts of people also asking you like this tool is really cool I want to use it all the time because I use it all the time. But that's just me. Peace, love and respect. Have a great one.